Hi everyone, my name is Ben. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to my room. Um, so, um, um, right, uh, my name's Ben. Not Benjamin or Benny or Buns, it's just B E N. So, um, um, right, uh, I'm 16 years old and I'm an English student and aspiring writer. Benny, you want to miss the bus again? Get up! Some people never learn. It's just. Do you mind? So, um, I've been reading a lot of fiction recently. Um, J.K. Rowling, J.R.R. Tolkien, you know, Marvel and DC, George Lucas, Star Wars, that kind of thing. You know, the people who create the kind of worlds you can just get completely lost in. And imagination is endless and you can just dream and dream and dream and dream and dream. Okay, okay, I get it. I get carried away sometimes. My friends do say I talk too much, but in here Mike and Kate say it's as if I'm mute. Morning, bud. You okay? Ben. Just grab the bike and go. You don't want to be late again. You've been doing this quite often, Benny. I'm packing your lunch. Please don't forget to take it with you. Mike, please make sure you take this with him. Sure, great, don't worry. Ben, do you need me to pick you up after school or can you catch the bus? Might be well. I'll be fine, don't worry. I can just catch the bus with Math and Nate, so yeah, I'll be fine. Math and Nate? Are you sure, bud? I mean, it's no problem for me, I can just leave my last lecture. Mike, I said I'll be fine. Okay. Just promise me you let me know. Even if you're with Matt and Nate. Especially if you're with them. What about Sarah? Why don't you ask her to catch the bus with you? Who's Sarah? Who's that Benny? None of your business, Kate. Yeah, my, I'm sure she'll catch the bus with me, so, yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Got to go. Lunch! I've just had this brilliant idea. I try to have done as many times a day as possible, promise. But this one is... The bus! Damn it! Okay, no time. I'll tell you guys another time. Or... Oh, wait, they're coming to school too? Great, great! Okay guys, I get to introduce you to my friends, Matt and Nate, and Sarah. She's my... Well, okay, not exactly my girlfriend, but we have a date soon. Uh, I hope. You guys don't need to see every lesson, but I guess I'll see you in English. Wait, am I giving too much away? <laughs> I sound like Mr. Madison. He's always spoiling books in- Oh, damn it, Ben, you did it again. Okay, I'll try to stop talking about all this and about today, and about how I'm really excited about today, and mainly Wednesdays. Thursdays and Fridays are great too, but Wednesdays are even better. Never Mondays, I mean, who likes Mondays anyway? Wednesdays are great, I get more time to read or write or watch a movie. Wait, am I talking too much? <laughs> if Mike and Kate could hear me now, then... The bus! Shit! Oh... Sorry! Oh. 
Mum would not be happy to hear that. Okay guys, I'll see you around. I mean, whenever. Um, bye. He doesn't shut his bloody mouth. And you don't stop bloody swearing or complaining. Get over yourself. Don't get on my bad side through me. It's not a good, idea. good side. I'm joking. You always say crap like that. Here he comes. Fun to me. Morning, guys. Great, you actually came. I mean, I've been telling you guys to do this. Ben, it's still 8 a.m. Just give us a break, or at least give me a break. It was Nate's idea to come here, so I guess you're his problem now. Responsibility, Ben. He means responsibility. Why the hell would I be your responsibility? Wait, Matt, check, check out my new t-shirt. What do you think? Nate, you're a Batman fan, right? Yeah, sure, Ben, really cool. Yeah, um, have you guys seen all the movies? I've seen them all. I think my favorite Whatever, is... Whatever, Ben. We get it. He's really cool. Anyways, I think it's time for us to play our little game. <laughs> Don't you think, Nate? Guys, it's a little early for games. Why can't we just wait till after our first lessons? Uh, Nate, do you still need help with that essay like I had asked last time? Friendship is all about compromises, Ben. Simple. You can talk about Batman and we can play a little game. They're here too? But he didn't tell me, did you? Okay, okay, okay. Okay! Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I know what this looks like, but don't worry, it's completely normal. It's just their way of having fun. Hey guys, what did you do for Mr. Madison's assignment? Shut up, Ben. I wrote about Roald Dahl's children's novel, Matilda. And I think it's ben, really good Shut up! Mr. Mr. Madison's gonna go on and on about how oh, shut the hell up. Guys, I... I think you took the game too far. I... 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 Shit. Ben, are you okay? Get up, come on, give me your hand. Sarah.
Uh, no, no, I I'm fine. I just have to get my things. I So, uh, how's that art project going? Uh, good, thanks. What about your book? Any progress? My book? Yeah, great. Great, great, great so far. Um, I've already started the first chapter and, and it's really important that I get it right because I'm, um, um, it's, it's important because... Ben. Uh, uh, yeah, um, B. E N, I know. Um, then I have to go. Talk later. Uh, wait, Sarah. You never actually answered me. It's been a month. Then I'm sorry, but um, I don't think. Because people will think that. It's just, you know, you're. Um... Guys, are you all following me? Please, a bit of privacy. I mean, it's fine. Sarah's just being silly. She does this thing sometimes. It's it's really sweet, but super confusing. Uh, Sarah. There she goes again. What? Shit! Oh my god! Sorry, not again. Okay, guys, gotta go. I'll see you around. Imagine this, English, my favorite class, least favorite teacher. That's Mr. Madison. No one really knows why he teaches English. Some people think it's just so he can correct people all the time. But his imagination is as impressive as sliced bread. I mean, this one time he was going on and on. Benjamin, I've told you once, twice, a hundred times. Stop daydreaming and pay attention. All right. Moving on to your critical essays for the week, discuss and analyze the theme of oppression in a piece of 20th century literature. Uh, Matthew, would you like to start us off, please? Matthew! <sighs> Typical. Nathan, would you like to start us off, please? Uh, I forgot it at home, so. <sighs> Anyone else? Mr. Madison, I have my essay right here. Anyone? Maybe I could get the ball rolling while they look for theirs. Mr. Madison, please? maybe I, I could start. Please. Mr. Madison, I, I could. Yes, yes, okay. Benjamin, I hear you. Go on. I chose to write. I chose to. I chose to write. I. 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 I chose. I chose to. I. 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 Benjamin. It's Ben. Just B. E. N. So eager to start, do you kindly start reading your essay, please? Yes, uh, I'm ready. Promise. 
I chose to write about Roald Dahl's children's novel, Matilda. And I don't fresh... think that's the kind of oppression I was talking about, Benjamin. Ben. And this is clearly seen in the character of Miss Agatha Trunchbull. I and thought for such a literature enthusiast as yourself, you'd pick something more challenging. Something like... something by George Orwell, for example. Or... Margaret as well. And her treatment of young Matilda as well as the innocent Miss Honey. Her appearance even resembles that of a drill sergeant. All right. And Matilda is That's also oppressed by her flamboyant parents, Mr. Right. and Mrs. Wormley, and the tyranny of television over books, please. something Matilda is very passionate about, as seen as her above every television. Therefore, it can so perhaps be taken as her sudden telekinetic abilities to symbolize a revolution Benjamin. against the oppression of her parents. Benjamin! I come to love! Her teacher needs to learn to be quiet and let the students express themselves instead of bloody correcting them all the time! I think you should leave the classroom, Ben. I'm sorry, sir. I just... I was just trying to... I, I was just trying to say what I wanted to say, but you weren't letting me. Please. I don't know why you started talking like that, but we both know that it needs to stop. Same old, same old, I suppose. I mean, I'm not expecting a trophy from him, but some respect would be nice. I mean, I'm the only one in there trying to do something creative and different with his homework and all he does is complain. Maybe I should just take a page out of Matilda's book. Pretend to haunt him or something. I hate that Matt and Nate got to see that though. I know they're my friends, but that kind of stuff is really embarrassing. Thank the God Sara wasn't there though. That would have been a travesty. I know. I know. I told Mike and Kate I'll message them and tell them how I'm getting home. It'll be fine. I'll just bust it with... Yeah, it'll be fine. Hey, so, how are you? Good. You ready to go? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's just wait for Matt and Nate to catch up. Is that okay? Of course. So, how was your day? Pretty normal. Same old boring lessons. Same old Mr. Madison being stubborn and not listening to me. Same old everyone getting my name wrong. I mean, it's not that hard, it's just Ben. ben. Yeah, B E N, I know. Did you manage to get more writing done? Um, yeah, yeah, just a bit. I mean, in my only free hour, the Star Wars trailer came out, so Matt, Nate, and I were watching and we got a bit distracted. <coughs> <coughs> Do you guys really have to get ahead of us every time? That's because they just want their alone time. Isn't that right? So, can you give us a break? Just once, please. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop, you're going to do something stupid. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Ben. Shut the hell up. Ben, shit, are you okay?
Okay, okay, so, 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 that's enough. I think he gets the message. Round two tomorrow, boys. How many rounds can she take? A lot more than your girlfriend can. That's. F oh, no, wait, wait, you don't have. See you tomorrow, guys. Hey, so. It's been a month. You want to give me an answer tomorrow? I mean, not that you haven't already. Kind of. Sort of. It's just. See you tomorrow, man. Hey, Matt. Nate, nice. tomorrow can we. Did you guys see where they went? Okay, I may be sounding less like Deadpool right now and more like Dora, but did you guys see where they went? Okay, um, fourth wall breaks like this are useful sometimes, until the character realizes that he can talk to the audience, but they can't talk to him. Which means that question, and any question I ask you, is completely pointless. Which also means that that's right. Dora was lying the whole time, she knew exactly where everything was. What now? Okay, I get it. I'm going. you today. Is your phone okay? Is the battery broken? Maybe we should get it fixed, you know, just to be safe. Uh, well, Mike will be home from university soon, so maybe you'd like to speak to him about school, if you want. Anyway, let me know when you're done eating so I can clean up your crumbs. I can clean them myself, it's fine. I mean, dust them onto the floor, make a bigger mess like you usually do. Okay, can you cut it out, please, Benny? Mr. Quanti called today and he said that there was some problem at school. Can you at least speak to your brother when he gets here? Look, I tripped and fell on my way home from school. Okay? You said you were going to message us. I said I would message Mike. And I didn't because he trusts me and trusts the others. Others? Who, who others? Who are you with? My friends, Matt, Nathan. My friends! Mr. Quanti said that you had some problems with Matt and Nate and that you were going to skip English. I wasn't. Look, I know you don't like Mr. Madison, Benny, but he is your... It's team. Ben! Listen, just B-E-N! Yes, sorry, Ben, just Then ben. say it properly! Ben. Look, I'm trying to read, Kate. No, and I want you to read. talk to me. Look, why won't you talk to me? Look, Look, I'll, tell, I'll tell Mike, you can why hear it from here. Why is Mike? Because why I said so! I can't do this anymore.
Sorry for not messaging you and for not answering your calls. I was fine, promise. I, I just wanted to be trusted for once because I think I'm old enough to be trusted. I mean, why shouldn't it's I? It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm just glad that you're okay. Besides, I'm so you're not mad. I just said I'm not mad. Hey, this for a change. Your sister has had a long day too, Ben. Be considerate. You know what she has to do for us until I graduate. Do you want to tell me what happened? I tripped and fell on my way home from school. Really? Where? I, I was fooling around and I fell. Matt, Nathan, and Sarah helped me up. I was fine. Just a bit winded. So you were with them? And did you catch the bus with them too? No. I did walk to the bus stop with them and Sarah though. Don't let your brother too then. I'm not! It's okay Ben. You don't have to tell us if you don't want to. But don't pretend that you have to. No, I'm not pretending! Can I read, please? I'm going up to read. You will sit there and you're going to speak to your sister and to your brother. And you are going to tell us what happened today, why you are going to skip English, and why you have that black eye. I don't have a bloody black eye! Ben, what's your language? Come on, you don't have to. Kate, calm down, please. What would be so ashamed of you, Benny? At least I'm not screaming like a mad woman. That has nothing to do with it and you know it. You know she would not like you speaking like that and you're doing it just because your friends think... No, you're funny you're mentioning mum. Because you seem so happy trying to be her all the time. Well, you're not. You are not her. You're not because she isn't even here. So just stop trying to be her because you'll never be her. So just stop trying. No, you're right. I'm not her. And I never will be. But I'm trying to be there for you the way she was. But you don't realize how hard it is to raise someone like you nowadays. With the school you go to and at your age. And you just don't realize what's going on around you. And I'm here and I'm trying. I'm trying and I just... I... Kate. Go upstairs, please. No. Go. Tell me, what's going on inside that head of yours? I, I, I don't know, but it's scared. Why? Because, because it doesn't know what it's done. It's done nothing but be human. It got scared. It got angry. It lashed out. It's had a bad day. It hasn't. I... I haven't. I've had a normal day. A, a normal, regular, usual, happy day. That's great. What's better is you seem to say that every day. What happened to your eye then? I fell.
Matt punched me. I got punched. Hard. He punched you. What? No, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mike, I don't know. Well, I think I do. No one knows what to do with you, Ben. You talk too much. And then you don't talk at all. You smile, shout, cry, laugh. You do everything everyone else does, and yet you're so different to them. Nowadays, some people see that as a bad thing. Something to put down. To others, they see it as something to avoid. Something that they can't connect with. They fear the unknown. They get lost in their questions. What if this? And what if that? Others Others just see it as a challenge, an effort worth taking, but too hard to understand. I see that difference in you, Ben, as something pretty amazing. That difference allows you to see each day as a better day. see the world and the people in it so purely, so full of joy and colour and possibility. And for God's sake, if only everyone could do that, we would be in such a different world right now. But then... Then why are people afraid of me? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. That's never gotten your way so far. Don't let it start now. How you manage every day when every day seems to be out to get you. <laughs> I don't know. I do know one thing. And that... That one day... You will go and conquer this bloody world. Mike! Sorry! That's it. <laughs> don't tell Kate, please. Kate! Do that again. I dare you. Mate! I said mate. So, finish up and get to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben! Okay. Okay. Yeah. Promise. Good night, Benny. Da! Yeah. <sighs> you know. Good night.
sorry. Uh, I think you guys have chosen the worst day to see all this. Hmm. Or maybe you kind of chose the best day. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try all this again. Hi everyone. My name's Ben. Pleased to meet you. I think by now you've realized. I talk too much. And sometimes I don't talk at all. And I'm annoying. And I'm weird and awkward and loud and stubborn and... And I'm funny. And I'm confident. And I'm kind and... And maybe I'm a few other things. I'm 16 years old. I'm an English student and I'm an aspiring writer. And one day I'm going to tell stories and write books and, and do great things that will inspire people and my imagination won't get in my way like it does now. Um, do you mind? Shit. Sorry. Sorry, Mom. Yeah. She would hate to hear me talk like that. No. Not yet.